In a towering workshop by the Bay of Nig in northern Scotland, a hulking tidal power turbine is being readied for its big debut. Engineers have been working for decades on generating electricity from tidal flows, but developer Atlantis believes its Magen scheme in the Pentland Firth will at last demonstrate the technology can make commercial sense. Investors and utilities around the world will be watching closely the progress of the Magen project. If all goes well, they may decide that Tidal Power's time has finally come. The basic idea is simple. Underwater currents are used to turn a generator and make electricity in the same way as a wind turbine. But Tidal Power involves some substantial engineering challenges. If you can imagine 40 metres of water flowing at uh, nearly 15 mile an hour, that creates huge loads. On top of that, we, we have various other effects that, that causes those loads to fluctuate. And so that, that puts the machine under a great deal of stress. The powerful tides that rush through the Pentland Firth add to the difficulty of installing and maintaining turbines. Local ferry skipper William Bremner says just crossing the Firth requires careful navigation. And there are tides that are stronger in the world, but uh, realistically, Pentland Firth is a nightmare for most mariners. But Atlantis is confident the scheme will work. Turbine design has been simplified to minimise maintenance, electricity cables have already been tunnelled out to sea, and a power conversion centre built on shore. Well, this facility basically takes the power from the, the turbines in, a, in quite a raw state, and uh, with all the equipment that's in here, it refines the power so that it can be transferred to the, to the grid for, for use elsewhere. Tidal power has some real advantages. The energy contained in tidal streams can be enormous, and unlike wind, they're completely predictable. And putting your turbines underwater means much less impact on the landscape. Those advantages, and global demand for reliable renewable power, means that when the Magen turbines disappear beneath the surface of the Pentland Firth, they will be out of sight, but certainly not out of mind. Muir Dickey, Financial Times. Northern Scotland. Marco Polo wrote that he heard the voice of a genie calling from the whirlwind. Even today, the winds here are some of the best in the world for power generation.